today we'll be exploring the Ruby Princess Riviera 747. Let's go in and have a look around, shall we? The first thing you'll see is a standard balcony cabin. And if you turn around, you'll have the back of a door. To your left, you'll see the entrance to the bathroom and the closet. You'll notice that there is a ton of hanging space, as well as a lot of space on the floor for your shoes and other crap. There's a nice big shelf on the very top, has lots of extra room where your life jackets and your laundry bags are held. At the end behind the small door is a set of shelves, and it's also where the safe can be located. To the left, the bathroom switch is located outside, and as you walk in, you'll note that the bathroom is, shall we say, cozy, with plenty of towel racks. It's a very basic bathroom, but it suffice. The shower stall is intimate and may be difficult for larger people to maneuver. It does come with body wash and combination shampoo conditioner pre-mounted. The water pressure is strong and comes with two settings, regular and peel the skin off of my sunburned back. Or as I like to call, sandblast. You'll also notice that there is one little tiny shelf available and that is all. So plan accordingly. The sink is a good size for storage and there are three shelves available for your little tiny knickknacks and HPA products. There's also an underneath shelf where you can keep extra towels and any other things you may need. Here's a bonus shot of my arm in the mirror which will fog up very quickly. Now we'll move on to the main room. There's a king-size bed with two nightstands and a mirror over the bed for people that like having a mirror over the bed. The nightstands are equipped with bolted down lamps that turn on and off. The dimmer switch is no longer available on the ship. And of course it also has a shelf and two drawers for additional storage because we bring so much crap. There is also a built-in night light that is motion activated when you get out of bed. It turns on for about two minutes. There are two sets of light switches located by the bed, one over the right nightstand. One switch turns on the entryway while the other turns on the main lights of the cabin. The other set of switches can be found behind the pillow, where the nightstand would be if the room were configured into twins. There is a reasonably sized desk with a mirror. However, if you plan to do your makeup in front of the mirror, note there are no lights around it, so it makes it very difficult. The only lights are above head. There is a hair dryer here, which kind of makes no sense with there's no light. There are two standard grounded 110 outlets to the right of the desk. There is a nice large television mounted in front of the bed on the wall. And to the right of that is the thermostat. It is set at its coldest right now, but it doesn't do a great job when it's very humid. The walls of the cabin are made of metal, so if you bring something magnetic, it will stick. So hooks or other magnetic things that you may want to bring along for organization work just fine. And there you have it. The mirrored corner shelving unit also has an outlet because the television used to sit on top of this. So it's another good place for a power strip. And then you have your shelving area where the mini bar is usually set. And of course, your mini fridge in the cabinet below. You also have a small table which is always in the way and a small trash can. Now behind the curtain is really the piece de resistance, the angled balcony. There's my shorts again, you're welcome. Pay no attention to that, it was a bonus. We asked them if they would deliver us a, a footstool and they were kind enough to oblige. But you do get two recliners and a table. Flowers are optional. 
and this is your view. There are only four cabins like this. This one, and the one right below us, and then there are the same cabins on the other side. Now, while a traditional cabin will give you this view, or this if you want to look around, this cabin is angled. So you can literally stand out here and feel the ocean breeze blowing on your face while you stare into everybody else's room. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. And down on top of everybody below you. That apparently is a mini suite with an extended balcony. So we turn around and see that this is a fairly roomy balcony. You could probably get a small table out here and a couple of chairs if you wanted to opt for that, if you asked. They've been very accommodating. So, there it is. Riviera 747. Happy cruising. And now for bonus footage. The great thing about this room is we can come out and there's a door, and this door leads to the terrace pool. Ah, oh, yes. Just one short flight of steps up, and you are not only at the pool, but you're at the adults only pool. So it's a beautiful thing. And then we can take, if you don't mind him, I'll cut him out. You one more flight of steps up. And you find the Outrigger Bar. So you have your own bar. And your own pool. It's not exclusive to you. It will fill up very quickly during the day, especially on sea days. And then you take a few more steps. You're at the buffet! You're literally right below the buffet. So, and if you're worried about noise, there was none. We heard nothing from up here, nothing at all. We never were disturbed by noise from the multitudes of people coming up to the buffet. So those are the perks of R747. So come on down and enjoy yourselves on the Ruby Princess.